Jasmine here from How to Electronics. In this video, we will learn about the LiDAR and its working principle. LiDAR or light detection and ranging is a popular remote sensing method used for measuring the exact distance of an object on the Earth's surface. You might have seen the latest iPhones or Samsung using the LiDAR sensor at the back for the best camera performance. As LiDAR has plenty of applications, so we'll take a look at the LiDAR sensor from Benovic called a TF Mini S Micro LiDAR Distance Sensor. This LiDAR sensor can measure the distance up to 12 meters. This sensor costs around $50, but at that cost, you will get the best result. First, we will go through the interfacing of TF Mini S with Arduino. We will see its library and basic example code to measure the distance. Then we will use a display unit like LCD display to display the measured distance in LCD screen. We will also be doing the range testing and performing various other tests. If you are excited about this product, then let's begin with this tutorial. This video is sponsored by Altium. The Altium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Altium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Altium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. Let's see now how LiDAR technology works. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. LiDAR is a remote sensing method that uses a laser to measure elevation like ground, forests, and buildings. It uses ultraviolet visible or near infrared sources to sense objects. Light energy emitted by the LiDAR system is known as pulse. Light reflected from the ground or object is known as a return. This means the LiDAR system sends a pulse of light and it waits for the pulse to return. It measures how long it takes for the emitted pulse to return back to the sensor. In the end, it gets a variable distance of the object. This is the box from Benovic which has a TF Mini S Micro LiDAR Distance Sensor. It is also called a micro single point ranging module. Benovic is a company from China that is the leading provider of solid state LiDAR sensors and solutions. TF Mini S is an upgraded version of TF Mini. Let me unbox this and show you what is inside the box. So inside the box, there is a TF Mini S LiDAR sensor along with two connectors. The connectors can be connected to LiDAR sensor easily. This is the LiDAR sensor which has unique optical structural and electronic designs. The two big bulbs are the main component. One is the transmitter and another is the receiver. The board has UART and I2C interface and the microcontroller you can see here is an STM32 series controller or something equivalent to this. There is already a firmware uploaded in the controller. You just need to retrieve the data. This has four pins as power pins and the UART pins. I got two connectors for this product. One has a four pin connector that can be inserted on the breadboard, while the other has 0.125 mm SMT connector, which is good for PCB applications. But for my demo project, I will prefer a connector that is breadboard friendly. Just push the connector to the sensor board and you are ready to go for testing and distance sensing. The red color wire is the VCC and black is the ground, while white is the RX and green is the TX. Let's now interface the sensor with Arduino. Connect the VCC and GND pin of the TF mini sensor to 5 volt and GND. Connect the TX and RX to D2 and D3. Here is my breadboard assembly. You can design a 3D casing or place a sensor properly for distance sensing. You can use any other pins for TX and RX which supports software serial. Let's see the basic code now. I used the example code from the TF Mini library initially and uploaded the code. The code got uploaded but I got an error message as the sensor was not able to check the distance. Then I added some lines to the code from the GitHub link which explained why the sensor does not work with the predefined library. 
This time the sensor got working and the serial monitor printed the distance of my ceiling as well as the signal strength. I moved my hand near and far from the sensor and observed the variation in the distance. The blind zone is certain from 30 cm to 10 cm. Hence it will only detect something after this distance. As you can see my hands moved away from the sensor there is a variation in the distance. If you want to use this sensor without a library, then here is the code. You don't need to add any library to the library folder. All the parameters are explained and defined in the code for retrieving the data through the UART interface. I tested the sensor performance with this code again. The code worked fine for me. Hence, you can use any code with a library or without a library. Now, I need to test this sensor outside. To do that, I need to connect any display. For example, I would prefer using a 16 cross 2 LCD display as this is the only display I have right now. So using the circuit diagram, I connected the 16 cross 2 LCD display to the previous circuit on the breadboard. I use a 10K potentiometer to adjust the LCD contrast. Now, this device is portable and we can take it outside for testing applications. So I added some LCD codes to the previous code like adding LCD library and defining the LCD pins. Then I printed the measured distance on LCD. I then uploaded the code and it worked like a charm. I selected my home balcony to test the sensor. There are so many obstacles at different distance to checking the distance variations. Currently the distance shown here is around 600 meters which is more than the performance of an ultrasonic sensor. Then I moved the sensor in different directions to encounter different obstacles and got to know that the sensor detected the far object and measured the distance by reflecting. According to the data sheet, the accuracy is around 90% so as a demo or for basic applications, we can use this sensor. The complete code, circuit, theory part and explanation of this project can be found in the website article of How to Electronics. I hope you like this video, so drop a like and comment if you have any queries. And thank you so much for watching.